Let's do this. Oh, Saturday night. Welcome aboard Murder Hobo Inc. The Calamity Campaign. Calamity B-Side as Scott is off on vacation. So we are in the land of the Murga, a.k.a. Swamplands with these guys tonight. Uh, we'll get you caught up here in a little bit because that's been woo, a couple weeks. Uh, first off, don't forget, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archives. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool stuff like a phone case, a shirt, a throw pillow, a duvet cover, a skateboard sometimes. I, I don't know why we do that. Uh, or Murder Hobo Con crap. Uh, that's uh, on the uh, tinyurl dot com slash rpg swag as well uh we'd like to thank our new sponsor uh son of a bitch i forgot how to say it uh <laughs> Mad Mad productions uh, i and i told him i'd probably crucify it but it's mad productions so if you're looking for things like battle maps uh some uh, also some t-shirts nice. uh check them out at mattisproductions.com uh, i haven't gotten to update uh the home screen so my apologies uh but i retweeted it this afternoon so check that out uh also pirate dog dice if you want some dice that can uh, i love new big red Oh, uh, if you want red. some dice that don't uh, roll like crap, uh, check them out on Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice. And of course, if your game stinks, unlike ours, a uh, little adventure sense can go a long way to making it smell a whole lot better, uh, even if you forgot your deodorant for the week. Uh, they also do something called the Shine Ooh. System. Oh, yeah, that'll burn. Uh, now you got a rash. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think they recommend it for skin contact. I'll really uh, throw that I one out don't there. think they do. Not, these aren't nerds. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll have an opening on the Calamity <laughs> campaign <laughs> next week as Rob has poisoned himself. Uh, but yeah, check them out. Uh, they also have a shine system to help you write much more gooder. And coming soon, how to RPG with your cat, uh, the Kickstarter. Also, don't forget MurderHoboCon.com, August 1st. It's a Sunday charity event. Once the bills are paid, everything else goes to Murder Hobo Cancer. Uh, to, you know, I, I'm sure we will raise enough money to cure cancer. Uh, or, or maybe just Almost. post. We're going to try. <laughs> I think we're going to handle some mailing postage issues uh but folks it's going to be a good time we got uh, quite a few events i think 18 now got three bands a comedian a fortune telling booth photo booth uh hell you might even see us around uh because some of us are doing games and some of us are playing in games check that out like i said this is the calamity b side let's go ahead and introduce you to the people who are going to spend the next two hours Try to make you laugh or smack yourself in the head. We'll start with Rob. Rob, who are you? Who are you playing? Hey, I'm Rob, and you can find me on Twitter at Cthulhu Rob, and I'm playing Brother Cup tonight, the irrepressible <laughs> monk of uh, Cheskin's order there. Uh, monk in the clerical sense, not the marshal. Every time I hear you say his name, I think athletic supporter. It's Brother He's Cup. a support character. That's From true. the Temple of Rydell. <laughs> nice. Oh, I, do you know Danny Zuko? <laughs> hey. That's what I love about you. He's Leo. also a follower of Cheskin. Tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> yeah, come on. It's summer. Uh, Jesse, you're up next. Same question, Rumble different love. answers. Uh, hello, I am Jesse. You can find me on all of the social medias at J.R. Uh I am playing... Uh, <laughs> The happy-go-lucky Australian dwarf, Brother Coda, who has recently taken a level in Paladin. Now he is uh, both cleric and paladin for the Lady Cheskin. This cannot possibly go wrong in any sense of the imagination. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, next up is Carrie. Normally she's behind the camera. Tonight she is behind the camera and in front of the camera. Carrie, who are you playing? I noticed that. <laughs> oh, come on. It yeah, looks a little on the Klingon side. Yeah. 
That's right. Don't forget, you've got the ridges. Uh, and, you know, fuck this campaign. You've got cacophony. So, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's right. It's not a campaign. Uh, right, right. But certainly not least, uh, let's go with David. Hey, I'm David. <laughs> Tonight I'll be playing Krell. If you want to follow me, I'm in the Twitterverse as DN Devious. Uh, I'm also on Between the Rolls, usually, and uh, I'm on the Cacophony Show. So, yes, the not campaign, the soap opera. So, oh, yeah. Uh, Crow is now, uh, well, he's a rogue scout, uh, but yeah, there's something stirring in his soul. So, <laughs> if, if, Crow should have a bite, uh, you know, you know, get killed. Yeah, you may see him again. <laughs> or not. Or not. There you go. New the DM, character sheet. The DM may rule against it. Uh, yep. Folks, this is Calamity, so we will go ahead and get you up to speed. Uh, these guys were all part of a collective called Toad Town. Uh, Brother Cup, Coda, and Crow uh, were all indigenous personnel, while Crendor and her people were transplants. Crendor and her people have the luck of being smarter than these three mud diggers. Uh, they have indoor plumbing and drainage and things of that nature, uh, but she has banded together with these three unlikely heroes, uh, Mo, Larry, and other Mo, uh, yeah. <laughs> to go ahead and hunt down the damn grung who attacked their village and <coughs> nearly wiped out the entire indigenous personnel thanks to a brutal roll by Crow. <laughs> Good, good <laughs> job. 81% wiped out. Uh, nice, nice dice rolling. Pew, pew. Uh, these guys have uh, followed a trail of corpses tied to trees. They'd been slashed. They had to fight a hippo. They saw an old woman recluse, and they went into a small, another additional small community. They don't know the name of it yet. And they found uh, only a single survivor named Edu, because here at Philbar, it looks like we're just saying, fuck it, and we're going to recycle names. Uh, so it's, it's not Mama Edu. It, this is an Edu, totally different individual. It's an adolescent, and it's... Uh, we will say human uh, at this time. Uh, Steve's probably dead somewhere. Uh, probably floating along in the hippo's mouth. Which, incidentally, uh, I discovered that the first ruler of Egypt served for 61 years until he was carried off by a hippo. So there's your stupid fact of the day, but true. Nice. Uh, that was 3,600 years ago or something like that. A good way it's to go. Believable. <laughs> yeah. Well, hi hippos, hippos are kill. assholes. Yeah. So hippos are, uh, I'm not going to say it. Uh, so these guys are in the land of the Murga. Essentially, it's a swamp, kind of like the Amazon, only shittier. Uh, and if you missed the warning, this is for mature audiences only. So if you don't like the way we talk, ship off, do yourself a favor, find a, find a stream that you like. That's fine. Uh, don't send hate mail because I'll just put you on an email list and you'll really hate my guts. You'll yeah. really hate his guts. <laughs> uh, everybody go ahead and roll straight up D20. You may add your constitution modifier. Let's see how well you slept last night. Oh, boy. Oh, 17. Man. All right, that's pretty good. 19. Oh. Uh, 17. Uh, yeah. Come on, Crow. Fuck this up. Boom! Crow did not sleep well at all. Uh, Crow, a D12 against me. Crow, a D12. Uh-oh, 12. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Boy, uh, minus, you, Crow? You got the minus, shit. minus one to all your rolls. All your oh. rolls. Uh, for one day. Uh, oh, Edu, that is hard. <laughs> that's, that's harsh, man. Uh, Edu uh, links uh, with birds in the air. Uh, and he is ready to go at the crack of dawn. He's, uh, he's armed himself with some mundane equipment. Uh, folks at home, remember, this is a stone slash bronze age setting for these guys. Uh, he's ready to go. He's ready to go find his uh, lost companions, friends, and loved ones. Uh, and he's, you know, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I baked you some fish. Uh, he has uh, five poles, a.k.a spears, wooden spears, uh, with fish on the end of it. Uh, 
foods like they might be a little overcooked. Uh, if you guys want to eat them, go ahead. Uh, if you don't, that's fine too. It's great. I love fish. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody who eats Constitution. Check. I knew that was coming. I'm not eating fish. It's got a lovely burnt aroma. He's a 14 for me. 16. You're fine. This is a bit. Carl's going to be minus eight before he even said what. You've just got to, you've just got to eat around the, eat around the burnt bits oh, or chew nine. through it. Total. Nine, nine's not, but you do not like it. But nine is not uh, in the danger zone. Uh, okay. You guys are prepped. There are several very tall tree timbers uh, that have been lashed together that form a bridge over the river that you guys have been crisscrossing. So good news, uh, as long as you don't botch it, you can walk across the timbers to the other side where Edu feels that his people were led out. And don't worry, got- Coda, I've got my rope ready. It's fine. I'm not good with water. So who wants to cross first besides Edu? Uh, I'll go first. Let's start this cavity <laughs> satire e- off. Edu rolls a 10. He is across. Okay. He calls out. A little flick spots here. Okay. All right. So what am I doing? Uh, acrobatics or? Acrobatics. Up? Okay. Doesn't Dude. matter what I roll. <laughs> Cody, you're not the only one. Dice jail. <laughs> you just want to be a fan of Yeah, okay. Uh, D12 against me. Okay. Two this time. Ten. Okay. Uh, you're in the water. Uh, oh. Roll. Well, odd, even odd puts you on the same uh, shore, even puts you on the far shore where you want to go. Uh, ten, so. Good yeah. news, you fell into the water, missed the rock, uh, missed the hippo, <laughs> uh, and hippo. Uh, have gone over to the other side. Break off I'll go. the other side. Go ahead. Six. Ah, you slip. Give me a strength check. Oh, that's a 19. Okay. You hang on and throw yourself back up onto the timber, uh, and you successfully cross. Coda or Crendor? Crendor, okay. you're up. All right, ladies first. Uh, 16. Dances across. Coda, last but not least, as you say oh. goodbye to the village of Afo. Oh, uh, uh, ready? Afok. A fuck. Ooh, I'm ready to get uh-huh. the a fuck out of here. <laughs> Eat a dick, everybody. That's an eighteen. I'm across ah. that bitch. <laughs> I like how it's Eat a dick. <laughs> have, you, have you ever seen the man perform many the moocher? <laughs> That's how you're. Nah, <laughs> Cam Calloway comes strutting across the, right. the timbers, man. Those are some sweet new paladin moves. Uh, <laughs> it's right. You got to believe to achieve. <laughs> uh, thanks, Tony Robbins. You guys are all on the far side of the river now, uh, and Edu is uh, in a crouched position, looking at the mud. There, uh, the sunlight has baked the mud on this side, uh, but clearly there are humanoid and amphibian tracks here leading along. Uh, we'll say a path, uh, not a very good path, but it's a path. Uh, Edu says. They went this away. All right. Off we go. I'm dragging my tired ass <laughs> along. <laughs> uh, no, no. Come on, Crow. Clank, 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 what clank, you need clank, to do, clank, clank, clank. If, you get, if you get the opportunity, Crow, get some, uh, get some, like, uh, some of your cloth that you don't use and stick yeah. it right where your bum is so that way you're not blowing out because I'm guessing you got the shits. Huh? I think he's just whinging. No, it's stomach's <laughs> fine. It's just my I I'm just off today. Inner ear infection, something. I don't know. What's the inner ear? You've oh. got two e- you you got two ears, but what's the inner? You take a dagger. Yeah. <laughs> and you hit it. Uh, who wants to be this time? 
What's that? Who's D12 against me this time? All right, bring the pain. Come on. Yeah, please. <laughs> Eight. Ten. Uh, very nice. You find along your journey three corpses, one every two hours. Uh, Edu will confirm that these are uh, people from his village, and he uh, has a little tear dripping down the side of his cheek as he sees them. Fortunately, none of them are his loved ones. We uh, only do that to David. <laughs> We're looting that shit, right? There's nothing left on there. These are naked bodies. I would, ha I would hand him a handkerchief, but all of mine are wet. So it's just like... That's true. Everything you own is wet, including your thighs, which yep. is chafing horribly. Uh, you guys have gone six hours through kind of a thick jungle with, like I said, it's a path. It, it's not a very good path. It clearly isn't well-traveled. Uh, but, you know, when you haul everybody out of the village and move through, uh, you're going to leave some signs. Clearly, the Grung have not taken any opportunities to conceal their movement. They fear no reprisals, in your opinion, uh, and you don't think uh, you're being followed. Uh, but nice you, you can hear shit in the trees moving about. Uh, to the best of your knowledge, you have not found the Grung in trees, but you do remember that they can jump like Jordan. Ooh. So everybody yep. give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, 16 plus 3, 19. All right. And oh, fuck, yeah. 10. Uh, 18. Crow and cup. Uh, odd even dice. Even. Odd. Uh, Crow, there's something moving. You can't I tell man or beast. Uh, cup, there's a lot of fruit here. Okay. A lot of, a lot of fruit. I signal the guys. I'm like, yeah, you know, make a little snap noise and yeah. Hey, there's shit in the jungle. There's <laughs> shit in the jungle, man. <laughs> Anybody know if these are edible? Yeah. There's a lot of them about. <laughs> Want to try yeah. one? Just try it. Worst thing you could do is trip balls. Like That'll it. be fun. I'll try, try one. I need that on top of everything else. <laughs> I'll try one. You know what? It, it, it sounds like a quitter crow. You sound like a quitter crow. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's don't need that. true. Uh, 17? Uh, 17? Yeah, it, it's good. It's it's, uh, it's a pear. A jungle pear. Crow, we're just going to call you Karen the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I got the hairdo. Uh, <laughs> well, it, uh, is a, it is a man bun, so yeah, there you go. I'll, I'll pick a few and offer, offer anyone dried frog. If Anyone? What do you mean? You like some dried frog? Ew. Got some... No, I've got I've got some frog in here. Oh, you trip balls frog? frog? Oh no, this is the eating frog, not not the trip balls frog. Oh, that's frog? fun. Uh, no, 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 I'm no, full. No, just no. me then. All right. Yeah. Uh, Crow, give me another perception check. Okay. Edu has an eighteen. Uh, he sees something. Yeah. Okay. Pick a few oh, more okay. of these. Uh, <laughs> Twelve. Uh, you don't see it this time, but Edu does. He does his best Lieutenant Dan impression and yells, Shut up! Get on! <laughs> <laughs> right. And drops into the mud and readies his wooden spear. Keep, keep in mind, his weapons are for shit, and he is an adolescent, in your opinion. Uh, he waits a few minutes, nervously points to the area, uh, everybody but Crow, go ahead and roll your perception. Um, 20. Uh, uh, 16. Uh, Coda is watching <laughs> the back door. Uh, Crow, Cup, and Crendor, uh, after Edu points out the movement, all three of you see it, seems to be maybe humanoid in appearance, possibly five feet tall. Uh, and moves quickly and rather silently among the jungle interior. Five feet tall, too tall to be a grung. So, okay. I bring my war puppy. 
Oh, good. I get to kill a war puppy today. <laughs> you know what, Crow? The dice hate your guts. Um, uh, give me an acrobatics check. Acrobatics check, huh? Okay. So, acrobatics? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. 18. Uh, you guys all hear a noise, like a snapping noise. You see the treetops move, and then you notice there is a hemp vine running triangular over this uh, tree near the path. Uh, and fortunately, Crow notices it just in time to dodge it as a slender loop goes flying into the tree and rests about 11 feet dangling like a noose. Uh, but fortunately, Crow's foot is not in it. Uh, this causes Edu to shriek uh, yet again, another fifth element a reference uh, <laughs> and what would everybody else like to do can i grab the rope and yank on it are you 10 feet tall now no. uh, i guess i'm not am i <laughs> probably I not but I the question not. is can crandor jump i don't know <laughs> how tall um, am i you're a human barbarian so i'm going to enough. i'm going to bring my yeah, shield around and feet. put my mace in my hand Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. This looks like evil might be afoot. Um. Yeah, Kodo will pull out the warhammer. He goes, "All right, me and El Kabong have some fun times ahead." Hello. Nice. <laughs> Crando, you you kind of jump up and decide that you cannot dunk the basketball, <laughs> and you will not be able to go ahead and catch that rope dangling. No, uh, what else would you? I'll get out my hand axe. Uh, Crow, what are you doing? Uh, I got an arrow knocked, and I am scanning the trees and the tree line. Uh, birds flow uh, from left to right, so they're going from in front of you, behind you, uh, as though someone is attempting to escape. Right. Okay. So, arrow's knocked. I'm looking. Oh, I'm looking in the direction that the birds scattered from. Everybody roll a straight up D20. Two. Uh, ten. Also two. Fourteen. None of you notice it. Uh, so whatever the hell was in there uh, is now gone. Uh, the birds eh, sparsely return uh, to their roosts uh, and all becomes quiet again. He was like, we got to get out of here. I agree. <laughs> he begins to charge down the path. Okay. Oh, okay. He, he can set off the traps first. So. Pretty much. Uh, who wants to chase behind him in the number two position? I will. Who's three? I'll go over there. Four. And Crow last. Yeah. Uh, as you guys run down, let's see if he steps on the landmine. Nice. <laughs> nice. Up shield. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Sure. X is my holy symbol. We'll, we'll say that. Uh, we got to get that on a t shirt. That's why you don't show her face. <laughs> uh, Coda, you're up second. Give me an acrobatics check. Acrobatics. Uh, I think not. Um, let's see. Oh, there it is. That is a plus zero. So. Oh, 16. Crendor, you're up next. Uh, you can see Coda hustling after your newfound friend, Edu. Light feet, light feet. Uh, 16. <laughs> you, you see what's coming, right, Crow? <laughs> mm -hmm. Brother Cup, you're up. Acrobatics check. Oh, yeah. I'm good at that, too. Uh-huh. Those things are awesome. Uh, that's actually a 13. Hey. Uh, hey. Your footing's not real sure. Uh, Crow, uh, you notice uh, Brother Cup probably slipping gorilla crap, but uh, he is uh, chasing Crendor, who is chasing Coda, who is chasing Edu. You are last in line. Give me that acrobatics check. Okay, rolled, rolled in uh, a 19, minus one, 18. Sure, oh. yeah. Yep, uh, everybody passes down the trail uneventfully. Uh, you go about another half hour, and light is 
sparse in the land of the Murga, and you guys are all pretty tired from a long day. Uh, you are currently traveling along a small tributary, uh, but of course everything in this area is a tributary. It's like being in Louisiana. Uh, yes. Only people are smarter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Edu wants to continue on, the rest of you, not so much. Dude, we can't do that at night. Nope. Ah, uh, they smell smart, Edu. We'll all get killed easier. But, we, but we've got to be close. I mean, there were a lot of my people there. we got to be close, and we haven't seen anybody hanging on the trees. E I mean, we can give it another hour. At least one more. Okay, I'm willing to go at, That's fine. at least another hour. Yeah. Uh, he uh, he pushes forward, thanking you graciously, uh, and stops about a half hour into it and looks down. There is a small, again, path in quotes to the left, uh, and there is a lot of mud here with a lot of footprints and amphibian prints in this area. Okay. Uh, following to this smaller trail that diverges from the main path? It, it actually joins up with the trail that you were at. Okay. So Does, it looks like there were two groups. Oh, okay. That's what I was going to ask. Okay. Okay. Wow. So uh, they may have pulled people in from elsewhere, too. This is like their little Batan death march. So. Trail of Tears. So... So uh, how many are we looking at then, you thinking? The mud is muddled. I'll take a uh, nature check from anybody who wants to see if they can decipher how many you're looking at. I'm puppy sitting uh, right now. Okay. Uh, Crow will do it. Right. He is proficient in it. Um, yeah, and he's been rolling great. 17 plus 8 minus 1. So <laughs> uh, It looks like a lot. A lot of okay. humans and a fair amount, uh, but the paths crisscross, so it's hard to get a distinct count, but you feel that the term a lot is probably uh, acceptable. Right, right. Uh, after a half hour mm -hmm. more, uh, Edu is also winded. Uh, you come along, again, you're traveling along a tributary. You notice something in the water as the sunlight falls behind the high trees. You can't really make it out. It looks somewhat squarish. It's off the trail. Uh, and it, it's just irregular. It, it's like a rectangle, but it's got holes in it. So it's an unusual shape. Under the water? Sticking out of the water. About five feet away for so Brother Cup. It's like until last. floating in the water. Kind of, uh, but it's uh, it's a reddish brown looking thing. Reddish brown looking square object with holes that you can see through. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, you also hear the sounds of bullfrogs. Okay, that's not good. Because <laughs> oh. the last time we heard that, we got ambushed. <laughs> that is yeah. true. No. Yeah. Let's go check it out. <clears throat> okay. Let's go check it yeah. out. We cautiously go and check it out. Cautious. Solid. Cautious. You will have to wade into the water to check this thing out. All right. We're just waiting for us. <laughs> sure. Or crow. Who, oh, who's wait waiting in the water? Who's waiting up atop? Crow, crow will go. I will go in the water. Cup and Crendor? He is not going into the water. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to wait. Okay. I'll right stand here. back and I'll hand a rope to. Do you want light? In case I need to pull him back. Uh, sure. not right now. Let's wait for the light. All yeah, right. So I'm going to pick up a. Sleepy. I'm going to find a stick, and just have it ready to cast light on it. Roll straight up d20. Make sure that stick isn't a snake. 16? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you found a limb. <laughs> not going to be able to hit a damn thing later because nice. I'm burning these rolls on places where there's not hitting anything. 
Uh-huh. Uh, Coda and Crow, you uh, have to go down a slight embankment, so go ahead and give me dexterity checks. Not saves, dexterity checks. Ooh. Okay. All right, it's uh, 12, because I have no bonuses. <laughs> yeah. You are silver surfering your way down. Yeah, Crow is too. Same thing with the 12. Okay, both of you are up to your mid chest in what hair? Uh, and when I say what hair, I mean greenish, brackish crap that smells to high heaven. Oh. Or as Crow would say, eh, just another day on the trail. Uh, yeah. As you venture out, you notice that the rectangle thing is kind of at an angle. Mm. Uh, and it has several strange markings on it that none of you can discern. Uh, it appears to be uh, about three foot across with kind of metal supports and then uh, like a metal bridge over the top of it. Uh, again, you can't really tell what it is uh, and you cannot make out the markings which appear to be linear in shape. I should say Kelly Ma on it. It does not. <laughs> so. Do we bring it up? Uh, sure. Yeah, let's bring it up. I'm going to get a good handle on it. It's about four and a half, five feet across, uh, and it seems to be stuck in the mud. Uh, mm -hmm. I will take strength checks from both of you. All right. Uh, 16 plus 5, 21. <laughs> Coda, as you use your paladin cleric strength, part of this metal rectangle that's rusted through yanks forth and smacks Crow in the face for two hit points of damage. Oh. Oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> the better news is Brother Cup and Crendor now need to roll initiative. I'll roll for you. Thank you. Bonus to, no, because I don't have yet. That's right. Eight for uh, Crendor. Thirteen. Uh, what do the bad guys do? Uh, bad guys get a five. Uh, so uh, two amphibian forms. Step out, uh, one on you, Cup, one on you, Crendor. Uh, odd Cup, even Crendor. 13, uh, Odd. That's Odd. Cup, uh, Edu will assist you. You see what you think is a Grung. But this thing looks bigger, a little bit more different, and has a short bow. Each one of them has a short bow, and they're going to unleash their fury on you, too, unless you close the gap. Ooh, uh, I will. So, Cup, you're up first. Edu got a eight as well. So, he'll go at the same time Crendor does. I definitely want to just close the gap right up and smack them with my mace. Sure. Go ahead. Foul grung! Uh, that's a 19. Let's see what's my plus. That hits. Hit. Plus, uh, 23. De de well, ooh, get me murder hobo dice for this. Nice. Oh, that is a 6. Plus 2. 8 bludgeoning damage. 8 on number 1. Uh, Krendor, you are up. I have to figure out what this spell does. Mm, I use my hand axe. Okay. Uh, ten. Uh, that's going to miss. Uh, e do twelve. Uh, he misses as well. Uh, let's see who's going to fight. Odd. Uh, brother Cup, yours is going to attack. Uh, Crendor, yours is going to cast a spell. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, this creature will try and stab you with a dagger. 18 plus 
five uh, cup, uh, you're going to take. Yep. You're going to take a Constitution save as well. That's that's fine. Yeah, I figured that much. Uh, three plus three, six slicing damage. Uh, my Constitution save is a natural twenty. Uh, no poison damage poison. then. Uh, six Krendor. slicing. Six slicing. Krendor, uh, all around you, uh, twisted sprouts of hard spikes and thorns arise from the jungle terrain. Uh, you are surrounded and put in PC jail. Uh, if you try and move through it, it's going to hurt. Coda and Crow to start round two. Give me a perception check. Perception. 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 Fourteen. I, I only ho hollered foul grung. Maybe they heard me. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Twenty-one for crow. Minus one. Oh, twenty. Every roll, baby. You haven't yeah. slept yet. Yeah. Uh, Cody, you have smashed crow in the face with whatever rusty metal this is. Prepare to uh, die of tetanus. Uh, but both of you notice as he comes back up for air that there are two what appear to be Grung above you on the trail uh, fighting with Cup, Edu, and Krendor. Krendor herself is being overcome by Maleficent's thorny bridge. Uh, Coda and Crow, roll initiative, please. Well, righty. Uh... What does you my than disadvantage me? apply to initiative as well? Yes. Sure does. Yep. Okay. I got uh, a five. Okay. Ooh, you tied with the bad guys. Yeah. Uh, 23 minus one, 24 for initiative. Okay. 18. Crow, you will be first. However, you are in the water and will have to climb up unless you want to use ranged spells. Uh. Crow's a bowman, so he's going to fire a bow. Okay. Sure. All right. Uh, Are you aiming for cups or crendors? Uh, crendors, actually, because I see magic afoot. Sure. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, 23 to hit. That hits. Okay. Uh, 10 points piercing damage. Fair enough. Uh, Brother Cup, you're up next. I'm going to make a melee spell attack against mine. Sure. Uh, that's a natural 20. Not that that means anything with spells, but still. Uh, I'm going to inflict wounds for 7, 13, uh, 19 plus. Five. That's twenty-four points of necrotic damage. Uh, give me a Constitution save. Yep, I knew that much. Uh, that's a sixteen. Uh, no poison. Uh, next up are the pair of eights. Crendor, you are surrounded by thorny, prickly things. Do you want to try and move through it, or what do you want to do? So I have a tender box of matches. So. I try to light it up. Give me a nature check. Fire it up. Fire it up. <laughs> Fire it up. Uh, nature. Be aggressive. Be, be, be aggressive. aggressive. That is a 20, not natural. Very nice. Yeah, you set it on fire. Unfortunately, because of the dampness of the jungle, uh, there are thick clouds saying, we're over here, we're over here, we're over here. Uh, but you will be able to burn it out in one round. Uh, Edu uh, uses his spear and pokes out the eye of a uh, cup, your opponent, and oh, brings what? him low to the ground. Uh, puts one foot on the chest and in true Conan the Destroyer, is he wearing shoes? Uh, no, he is not wearing shoes. Ah. No. Does he have to roll a con save? You know what? Yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> so these are definitely grung. They're not bullywogs. They're, they're grung. Yeah. Huh? 17. So he is unaffected because of his uh, 
calluses on his feet because he doesn't use sand. So. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. Coda, you can tell that uh, one of the grung is now flagpole for MTV. The other one has surrounded Crendor with uh, stuff. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, you tie, so I will still get to go even if okay. you tell me. Um, I will uh, climb up out of the water. Uh, how far away is it? Well, first you got to climb. <laughs> I got to climb out of the water. That's yeah, that's that's acrobatics. Well, he still has the rope that I gave him. Well, now I. No, no, that's a three. Aww. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now you look like uh, Schwarzenegger and yeah. Predator. <laughs> right on. Yes. Wow, you look uh, ugly. Come on, you son of a bitch. Come after me. What am I going to do? Ugly son uh, of a bitch. <laughs> you know what? I, I don't have much to do. I'm going to short bow. Which one of you fuckers, including Edu? Uh oh, he apparently does not like Edu standing on his sibling. Oh, Seventeen plus five. <laughs> wow. Edu's gonna be in a bit of trouble. And you know what? I'm going to use one of the murder hobo con dice. Are they poison darting or in their? It is a murder hobo con. <laughs> Oh god! Uh, and it is poison, so he takes nine hit points of damage. Uh, and let's see if he can save from Khan. Uh, he cannot. <laughs> uh, uh, you just gonna hit it and run. Hit it and run. Six more. Uh, so fifteen. Who saw Galaxy Quest? I've been forced to many times. I'm, I'm, I'm shot. <laughs> he, he, he goes down as a sack of wet shit. Uh, Crow, uh, you see uh, Edu do his best pole dancer routine and slide down. Uh, he is on the deck somewhere above you. Uh, you got the high roll. What do you want to do? Okay, I'm going to take my bonus action and I'm going to apply steady aim. So that just gives me advantage on on the attack. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire another arrow. <clears throat> that was a beautiful roll on my part. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Frank classically killing his NPC. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> and 15 hit points to a first level at best adolescent. <laughs> Fuckers. Wow. Yeah. Uh, 21. Frank to likes hit. to kill teenagers. Minus one, so 20 to hit. Yep. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Uh, 12 points, piercing damage. Yeah, that puts it down to 22. Uh, Brother Cup, your friend has fallen valiantly with an arrow through the eye. It seems to be a theme tonight. Uh, his brain is pulsing out. Uh, his name was E. Duke Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> No, and he holding it in and back. Uh, that's true. He. Not I'll avenge chance. you. <laughs> By grab those hammer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's dead. By Cheskin's like... bosom, I'll avenge you. Oh. As Crow pointed out earlier, he's like Steve Martin, only instead of this way, it's this way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, poor you do. He is yeah. dead. <laughs> With no, an awesome but, roll. Well, but evil still requires smiting. I guess we don't sure. have to worry about getting these people for him. I mean, uh, so... Now you can go back home. I don't know what say. Now we're just like... Back. 17. It's one less problem off a back. <laughs> we can just go back where we came from. That's right. Retire. Well, I mean, we can. I'm going to just go somewhere. See what happens. <laughs> I've got nothing to go back to. 80% oh, no. of the people in my village are dead. We, <laughs> we three literally make up 10% of our village. <laughs> we do. Now we make up 40% of the village. Exactly. So, I mean. So, what do you guys drop? Oh, I'm just going to smack him with my mace. Uh, it says, what is it? It's got a hit, right? It's a 19 to hit. Mm-hmm. Um, eight bludgeoning damage. Not good enough. Uh, 
Crendor and Ed. Oh. In that case, I'm still Crendor. in his face. Crendor, you're up. Uh, you have burned see. away some of the thorns. Uh, you can gingerly step unless you roll a one uh, and join combat if you want. Yeah, I guess I better. Uh, first, give me that d20 to make sure you don't thorn yourself. Thorn yourself, didn't you? Two. <laughs> oh, your uh, pants are ripped. So now you look like a 16 year old kid. Yeah, that's uh, fine. You may attack. That. Yeah. You're stylish now. That's right. Uh huh. So I can attack too? You may attack. <sighs> oh, well, that's just lovely. I got a three. <laughs> Great to have you with us, Crindor! Yeah. Uh, as the grung-ish thing ducks its head, you see Crendor <laughs> almost, almost knock the hair out of the middle uh, eyebrow part uh, that you're sporting. Uh, let's see, this is uh, good news. Uh, my turn. I'm uh. Crux, even Crendor. Fifteen cup. Cups up. Three. Not even close. Not even remotely close. Uh, Coda, uh, you are now covered in mud. Uh, probably leeches. It's fine. Maybe a lot of leeches. leeches. Yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> I've got this new power, so I can uh, cure any disease. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's rough. Cure one disease. Yeah, I am. I am the paladin. All right, um, I'm gonna make my try and make my way out of the water again. Sure. Would that be crow's? Uh, uh, what do you get from rusty shit tetanus? Oh yeah, tetanus. Yeah. <laughs> no, I did not make my way out of the water. That was a two. Oh. <laughs> right back in. Uh, top of the order, crow. Uh, you're watching slip and slide, and you're seeing that. Cup and Crendor are facing off with uh, this grung wildling, is what it is. Uh -huh. so, so, this. I'm going to be here in the water. Yeah, using using Coda as a brace. I did bonus action steady aim again. <laughs> Coda, there's a, a tingling around your anus. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like a big toe. Well, that's uh, just rude. <laughs> That's rude. You're Sergeant uh, Hulka now. You're the big uh, uh, <laughs> Nice. Uh, Folks, if you aren't old, you aren't getting any of these yeah, references. you're not getting any of this. I don't mm -hmm. care. <laughs> That's stripes, folks. Yeah. Uh, 21, so minus one, 20 to hit. Yep. Never okay. know what's going to happen. <laughs> okay. Uh, eight points, it, it, piercing damage. That's enough to kill him. Uh, with all the threats eliminated, silence again falls over the jungle, except for the crisp crackling of what is left of the thorny cage Crendor was in. You have two dead Grung and one dead Edu. Oh, we hardly knew you. <laughs> and you know what? I, I had planned on Edu going at least two more adventures to not get your fuck. <laughs> We should have rested when we said to. Uh, yeah, we, we should have. We should toss his body in the river. Yeah, he will. Yeah, uh, it'll happen. All right. Well, since now, I'm... now hang on a second. Uh, Coda, hey, somebody you, a cleric. <laughs> Coda, oh, yeah, you needs... you dumped yourself twice. So yeah. give me uh, a straight D twenty roll, Crow. You uh, got hit with rusted metal, so give me a straight D twenty. D twenty. Okay. okay. 17. No leeches. Uh, 14. No tetanus. Okay. No picket. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Coda, you can now take your time and try and find that rope that Crendor had. Uh, keep in mind, mm. she moved into fight, so if you give it a strong yank, you will have both ends of the rope. <laughs> I will. And maybe, I with your luck, Snap it into the back of Crow's face. Unless he says, hey, make sure you have the other end. <laughs> hey, you guys. Uh, hey, you guys. Oi, uh, people on dry land, can someone grab the other end of this rope so I don't... I got it. I got get it. Get my whole ass back in again. 
the Klingon priestess grabs a hold of the rope and uh, you are able to muddle your way up. You are covered uh, scalp to toes in mud. Uh, good news is uh, if the bugs come out tonight, which we will be rolling for shortly, unless you clean yourself up, you will not be affected. Mm. So, Crow, I assume you're mm. going to follow his lead and get up and out of the water? I am. Crandall, okay. your pants are really cool. The what bugs, happened? The bugs aren't going to come with all the smoke from the burning thorns. Right. Yeah. Probably not. Yeah. Coda, I oh, tried to pallet in while you were gone. Yeah. How'd that go? I don't know. I stood there and hit it and hit it. Did ah. I do it right? Hey, look. Mostly. He's dead. Ah. Yep. Coda yeah, and Crow, nice. you are directed to the dead associate. Uh, uh, he has been shot through the eye. Well, like little Ralphie. Not strong okay. enough to put that back together. No. 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 no we can't oh, who's hurt that. besides me? Just uh, my pride. Bro. <laughs> uh, I have bonus I action. Channel Divinity. Um, okay. I need six, so that leaves nine points for Crow. Okay, that's more than enough. Only only a had, couple. He's, yeah, he's only down two. Yeah. <clears throat> Fair enough. Seven hit points go swirling off around my allies and disappear somewhere. Uh, what do you guys want to do with Edu and the Grung Wildlings? Well, uh, there's a we, river uh, nearby. Yeah. There's one. also a small fire behind you guys. We could also dump them in the that fire. That would stink. Yeah, but, I mean, he's one of these. Hey, why not? They were leaving burning bodies, so... I mean, you know, it would keep fire burning. Oh, it keep the bugs away. Exactly. Well, I mean... Edu Cordwood Kennedy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I wasn't talking about just, Edu, but... Just common, sense. <laughs> common sense says human... Oh. Or common sense says... Uh, probably not the best kindling. Yeah. It depends on probably how not. fat they are. And how, how many calluses he had on his feet. <laughs> I, mean, I just, I mean, I just feel like... fat there, that's, that's fuel. Well, 1,200 degrees fat ignites on a human body, so yeah, there you go. But I'm just saying, we're not, you know, making a funeral pyre. We're just right. making right. burning bodies with leftover fire that Krendor tried to burn away out of. Yeah. And instead made herself some really hit looking pants. Very cool. But old kid love ya. Stylish. So um and, and you can repair Krendor's pants. Or not. I do have the mending spell. I could repair your pants if you need to. That's okay. I'm feeling frisky with these on. Nice. That's there awkward. Go. It's really fucking awkward. Krendor. <laughs> Cougar Krendor is out there. Cougar? I'm not that old. Well, know. Edu's right there, and he was like 12. <laughs> well, he's dead. He doesn't count. <laughs> Can't say no. Rigor mortis. <laughs> Rigor mortis. <laughs> oh, he's going to be dead. Did he die with an erection? Uh, that's Edu. the only way it works. Actually, what happens is when the body dies, everything like splits out so he's like shit's coming out PC, everything. it's Ugh. gonna just explode which in turn could probably cause the body to stiffen up in different ways therefore yeah. unless we embalm him that's the only way that okay this is taking <laughs> a horrible <laughs> tangent <laughs> i'm just saying when people die it's pretty fucked up yeah it is pretty probably just throw that's it. <laughs> All right. Well, let's oh, yeah. So, are, are we burning the grung and Edu, or just grung, or none of them? Let's burn it all. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Fair enough. Uh, give you back anybody want to say some kind words for Edu the Brave, Edu the Fallen, he Edu the Lost Kennedy me. brother? <laughs> he didn't he, like, uh, let's take a fucking rest when we wanted to. It was your fault. Uh, That's he, what I have to he say. He fought well, but. He did not he, persevere. He, a bit too, uh, he died quickly. Overzealous. That's true. And uh, he'd said to see you go before you saw your people again. He died but, without pain. Maybe. Probably. By right through the eye. Your body One minute he was standing there. And uh, bring you back into Cheskin's sweet, sweet bosom before you uh, shift on to whatever fuck all life you go to. Good luck hey, out right. there. Congratulations <laughs> on dying early. And you don't have to worry about all this shit. At least it was the stingray shot. 
<laughs> Crow, Crow <laughs> is like r- reminded of his near brush with de- uh, you know, brush with death, and he's just it's wild. Like, gotta, gotta <laughs> shiver, you know. It's like okay. yeah, this, this is what these fuckers were gonna, gonna do short to time me. We knew him. It became apparent that Edu liked to be afraid. He died the way he liked it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm trying to come up with something, some kind of bathroom humor. Like here, I sat broken hearted, but. <laughs> Oh, no. Well, perhaps okay, there I, is, you know, indoor plumbing where he's going. I don't know. That's true. Yeah. We'll we'll need to come up with an epitaph, and I will make a stone form. Uh, you throw all three bodies onto the fire, uh, as Crandor has successfully confirmed. Uh, body fat will render and uh, continue to use it as fuel. Uh, is this where you guys are going to camp, or do you want to get away from the fire? Yeah, I'd rather not have the smell of burning flesh in my yeah, nose, yeah. so let's go somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, how long do you want to travel, keeping in mind it is dark? Just like 10 minutes. Sure. Along the same path, I assume? Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, 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 uh. Coda, D20. I will roll a D12. Six. What? Oh my god. Wow. Uh, you have found a suitable location for campsite. A quick check of the area reveals nothing unusual. You should be able to sleep here tonight uh, without issue. Looks good. <laughs> Splat. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to take Jurassic first watch? <laughs> I'll take first watch. Okay. Is everybody going to take a watch? Yeah. Yeah. Carl will take second. Second watch. Who's taking third? Grendor. Uh, Good news, Brother Cup. Uh, Just after everybody begins to doze off, uh, give me a perception check. Uh, That's a 19. There's shit moving. 22. Yeah, shit's moving everywhere in the jungle. That's usual. Pretty much. Roll initiative. <laughs> Charlie's out there, man. Uh, that's. I don't get a bonus to initiative, so sixteen. Dear <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Mine is a seventeen. Uh, yep. A giant constrictor snake falls from its perch high above. Uh, it was uh, damn near invisible as Coda looked around. Let's see if it hits you. It does not uh, with a two. <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, I feel like I'm on the cred campaign That'd for God's sake. These rolls blow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, another one. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, Cup, you're up. Um, okay. That snake freaks me the fuck out. Uh, it should. It flies. Because it was right. Yeah, I know. It flies, and that's terrible. Um, yeah. Just anywhere within an range, so I'm going to point my finger at it and make a range spell attack. <clears throat> um, that's a 17 to hit. Yep. Okay. You text it at your feet. <laughs> yeah. Watch out for snakes. It's going to take 46 radiant damage. I ain't going to kill it. One, two murder hobos. That's 12. Five is 17, and four is 20. D1. Points of radiant damage. Not even close. Uh, I didn't I'm hear sure you yell. It didn't so feel good. Everybody's sleeping. Uh, the snake uh, extends its fangs out at you and lashes towards you. With a five. <laughs> so that ain't gonna do it either. So it's I say snake. help! <laughs> it has dentures. And uh, since I don't want to burn another spell right away, do I? Wait, I'm going to rest after this. Hold on. You're going to take a rest instead of attack? No, I say after this, I'll be taking my rest. <laughs> oh, so, I was going to say, I'm going to uh, go ahead. It's a good thing to be rest. in first watch because in first watch, you can burn your spell slots. Uh, I will use duh, 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 good old inflict wounds again. Uh, you're going to touch 19 the snake. hit? Yep. Yeah, 19 all- hits. I'm going to touch the snake, and I'm going to do 3d10 necrotic damage to the snake. 
plus my spell bonus. He uh, wraps nine, it around his arm and begins 17, to dance, talking in tongues. <laughs> exactly. Just and just five just. is uh, 32. That one it felt. Uh, Coda, Crendor, Crow, your sleep is interrupted by fucking Brother Cup screaming. Let's see with a perception roll if you heard him or if you just flip him off and cover yourself in frowns. Fourteen for gross. Fifteen. Twelve. Well, sleep's fucked for you three. Uh, you guys wake up. Go ahead and roll initiative for me. Nineteen. Uh, Seventeen. Six. Okay, Crendor, you're up first. Apparently, Brother Cup is wrestling with his snake. Trouser snake. I was say, snake <laughs> That's a big about? pair of trousers. Um, I guess I will go with my hand axe. Yeah. <laughs> Crendor the Moyle attack. <laughs> <laughs> the Moyle. Uh, 16. Yep, you hit the snake. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Uh... Hey, you don't touch me there. This is my no no square. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, D12 plus 3. Okay. Oh, that was the wrong one. Plus 3, 14. And uh, it's dead. Uh, as uh, Brother Cup, you notice. She seemed to take a great deal of delight in whacking that snake off in front of you. Uh, but the thing is dead. Uh, Crendor, Coda, Crow, Constitution checks, please, because your first watch got interrupted. Well, that's breakfast sorted. Uh, 19 for Crow. Nine oh. for Coda. Coda! <laughs> Tomorrow you get to roll minus one on everything. <laughs> Sucks, doesn't it? Uh, because uh, Crow, you're up next. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Brother Cup, you can now go to sleep. Coda. God damn, God damn it. Blah, blah, blah. A couple hours later, uh, Crow, it's easy to wake Coda because he is now suffering from <laughs> insomnia. <laughs> I didn't sleep. 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 I didn't sleep, sleep at all last night. Uh, Can't even remember what sleep is. <laughs> Coda and Crendor, your watches pass uneventfully as well. Morning dawns anew. Coda, your eyes are bloodshot. Your mouth is dry. You feel tired and irritable. And we have a snake for breakfast. <clears throat> and you have snake for breakfast. Mm -hmm. He has no nutritional value in snake. As the sunlight That's comes protein. up, uh, you notice that the dried trail here uh, is littered with footprints. You also notice, since you moved 10 minutes down the road, there's another body strapped to the, the tree. Look, more bodies. Forest. In footprints. We're going the right way. <laughs> it looks like we're this much closer to death. We're on the right uh, track. Everybody give me nature checks for the footprints, please. Back. What's nature intelligence base? Ooh, 14 minus 1. 10. Thir 13. Also 13. 21. <laughs> Crow, uh, this looks kind of recent passing not I, like 10 minutes ago but uh, maybe I tell them we're, we're catching up <laughs> uh continue are we on yet uh yes are we there yet? oh yeah are we there yet? Are we there yet? late afternoon uh the tracks seem to become fresh and more fresh uh, everybody give me perception check as uh, the afternoon dawns. 14. 19. Uh, 19. Uh, for Crow, that's a 16. Coda, Crendor, Crow. C Coda, Crendor, Crow. You guys need to come up with better names. Uh, there's movement ahead of the trail uh, and behind. 
Uh, Brother Cup, you notice there's movement on the trail behind. Uh, four grung leap out and have you surrounded on this trail because they can jump really far. Everybody roll and be And FYI, I wasted a nat 20 on that roll. Uh, 15 for Crow. 18. 17 for Cup. And for Coda. Everybody wins. Uh, Crendor, uh, there's one there, one there, two in the back. So everybody's got their own grung. Uh, Can we get one for Christmas? Yeah. Uh, no, because Edu died. Oh, Aww. Aww, we're going on the naughty list. Uh, so everybody has one of their own. So I will take my great axe. And that is an 18. 12 is all you need for these grungs, so that hits. And... Uh, 14. Uh, Krendor swings her axe and cuts him right down the center, splitting both halves. Uh, next up is the 17, Brother Cup. I have a mace. It's in his face. 16. Eight points of bludgeoning damage straight to his face. He's ugly. Uh, 15, Crow. All right. Uh, b -b -b 18 to hit. I'm going to... Short sword. Uh, let's see. Uh, that is 10 points piercing. I'm making an offhand attack with the other. Uh, that'll be... Uh, I don't add the modifier for an offhand attack, right? Correct. Okay, so 10. Miss. Uh, he's hurt, but he's up. Uh, Coda, you're up. Remember, minus one to all your rolls. All right, can go to attack. That's 18, 17 to hit. And then he will do with his Warhammer. Six points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, everybody but Krendor is getting attacked. So, Brother Cup, 19 plus. So, uh, I'll take a con. Uh, Coda. Uh, Constitution 17 plus Three. two, 19. Yep, that's it. And Crow, six. So only Brother Cup got hit that time uh, with a dagger. How much? Four plus two, max damage, six. Top of ah. the order, uh, Krendor. Uh, you don't have anybody, so you have to choose who you want to assist. Uh, everybody else has been hit. Crows looks to be the worst. Um, which one of my compatriots is having the hardest time? Uh, Brother Cup. All right, I'll go for him. So you're attacking Brother Cup. Got it. No. <laughs> That's it. Fifteen. Fifteen does hit. They're AC twelve. Uh, Krendor is the Grace Jones of the group. That's 13 hit points, and that one falls. Uh, next up is 15, Crow. Okay. Uh -oh. 17 doesn't get to go this round. Oh, 17. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Indubitably. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, you don't have anybody on you now. Um, okay. Um, mm -hmm. I'll go Sacred Flame on Coda's. Make a deck save. Koda, make a deck save. You're in between him and the creature. No, no, it <laughs> drops from above. It's not a. It's not a range okay. attack. Gotcha. Sacred flame. Uh, sixteen. And what am I rolling for? That, he made it. Okay. Never mind. Well, now there's some minuses in there. If he's minus three, he loses it. Uh, he doesn't have any minus threes. No. <clears throat> Crow, you're up. Uh, twenty-one to hit. Yep. All right. 
and uh, make sure I'm using the right damage done. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, eleven points piercing damage. Dead. All right. Uh, Coda, you're up. Okay. Holy shit, Coda! Some blue fucking lightning just appeared out. Of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that was scary. Uh, <laughs> Seventeen to hit again. Yep. Oops, that's off a while. Uh, do, 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 do. That is nine points of bludgeoning damage. Down he goes. Everybody, perception check. Mm. Natural oh. twenty. Nineteen. Um. Uh, ten. Uh, Brother Cup and Crendor, you hear yelling uh, up ahead on the trail, not very far away. Like like human yelling or like grung Do yelling. Do we understand it? Can't really tell. Well, that's bullshit. Wait. Sounds like there might be company coming. There's something going on up there. Which way? Point in what direction again? Up there. That I go way. running. That way. Coda goes running, dead at it. Uh, <laughs> Coda! Fuck! And I follow. Ass. Uh, Crow and Crendor, what are you doing? <laughs> we, we, like, I guess I'll uh, follow. We'll go. <laughs> Il Kabog is coming! <laughs> Coda weaves his way along the uh, marked path from nice. footprints, and you come upon an interesting sight. There are 11 uh, humanish people, uh, long scraggly hair, uh, cod pee, or you know, loincloth, uh, not sophisticated like you guys are. Uh, and they are surrounded by two grung. One of them uh, is pretty fucking big. Uh, everybody roll initiative. Oh. There it is. I go last. Fuck. Seven. Uh, Ten. One. I got what he got minus 20. You got a one. Up. It's a two <laughs> minus one. One. Uh, uh, Crow, you're third in line uh, along this narrow path. You see about 11 people, you'll say, uh, and two grung. Okay. On the left, one on the right. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to. Use my movement to step to the side and aim for a grung. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, uh, 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 14 to hit. 14 does hit. Oh, all right. Uh, that is uh, six, seven, nine points piercing damage. Okay. Uh, who's it going to attack? The one that just got hit, going to attack three, Crendor, shooting an arrow. 10 plus 4, 14, Gaia? Uh, oh, my armor class is 14. I have hit you. Give me a constitution save, please. Let's use a uh, Adventures of Pilbar die this time. <laughs> And just like all the others, boom! And a drop. 16. You are not poisoned, but you do take nine hit points as it tears through your Fuck shoulder. You. Uh, the other one looks... Oh, shit. That's an area. <laughs> Everybody roll wisdom save as oh, the crap. lead grung kind of throttles his throat. 22. Uh, yeah. uh, let's see. Okay. 20. Wisdom. All right. Uh, 17. Oh. 22 as well. No one is affected by the mesmerizing chur. Ah. Uh, actually. Yep, those fuckers are. All 11 people just drop, holding their uh, hands over their ears and appear to be stunned. Uh, seven is up next. Crendor. What am I doing? Good. 
It's your turn to attack. I assume you're attacking. Or you can run away. Run away, Sir Rowan! Um, I've got 15. Uh, which one are you aiming for? Left or right? Left. That hits. Seven. Fair enough. Uh, the pair of ones. <laughs> you guys are up. <laughs> uh, thank you. Left or right? The big some bitch. Left. Yeah. That's right. who I want. For the cup. Gonna, if the you. Uh, oh, I'll stay right here. Thanks and. Uh, Choo choo in the back. <laughs> Guiding yeah, bolt. That's how it goes ah! usually. Uh, a. Plus five. Uh uh. Fourteen to hit? Nope. Miss! <laughs> Coda, run. you're up. I'll run up with the uh, Warhammer. Warhammer. That is a natural one. So it'd wow. be a zero. <laughs> that would be you or cut. Uh, if it's you, even, uh, you lose that weapon. If it's odd, cup, you'll hit cup in the back swing. It's odd, cup. Oh, tank. <laughs> no. <laughs> of course, I roll max damage. Um, <laughs> yeah, baby. So you take, <laughs> you take six points of bludgeoning damage. Ow. Oh, how did it feel? Or it is halved, right? That is halved. <laughs> Because I rolled an 8, plus 5, 13, half of that, 6. Top Feels of like the order. Feels like I should divinity. So it hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> My bad. Okay. That one's on me. I'll take that. That's me. That's, That's me. Bad. My bad. I apologize. I'm <laughs> laughing so hard. Boom! You have the entire breath. So uh, D4, 1 cup, 2 coda, 3 crendor for you. Brother Cup. Brother Cup takes one from Crow. Fuck. <laughs> Cap, we'll just kill you and resurrect you, right? It's all right. It's all right. Don't worry about it. As an ogre zombie. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it was an arrow, so. Hey, don't hear that bullshit. I've seen how much damage you've been doing with your arrows. <laughs> You're going to skewer this fucker. How many points? <laughs> Come on. You do math. Hundred and six halved. <laughs> Half, it's halved. Yeah, it's always halved when you hit your buddy. Five. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. I might be able to take a medium-sized hit still. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, odd, even. Fuck it. Uh, odd. Uh, Brother Cup, the big grung says, oh, "I'm joining that party. He's going after you." <laughs> Uh, but only a four, so that's going to miss. Uh, the other the one is, is actually saying there, you mind? <laughs> uh, four is the other one. Crow, the other grung, leaps through the air and stabs you with a dagger with a 18. Who, Crow? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 18 hits. Okay, okay give me a con save. Okay. Ooh, max damage again. That's not good. One. You got a one? Got a one. Oh shit, you're fucked. <laughs> uh, you take six damage from slicing and the poison damage. This is where we all die. It, yeah. yeah, no shit. I didn't want to kill you, do, but you know what? I didn't want to kill you guys. Uh, five poison. Uh, your rolls are going to yeah. be a disadvantage until uh, that works out of your system. Okay, so 11 points total. Okay. Cup, you're going to get killed by your <laughs> by friendly fire. Uh, that brings us to Crendor. Crendor, That's uh, Cheskin's would, desire. Would you like to hit Cup as well? <laughs> <laughs> you have your choice. You have the big one, or uh, the other one is right in between you and Crow. Um, the one between me and Crow. Fair enough. Go ahead. <clears throat> I've got a song for Coda stuck in my head. It's based <laughs> on the old Roadrunner song. <laughs> Warhammer. Brother Coda's after you. <laughs> it was a six. 
that's going to swing and a miss. Uh, that's not going to be good, but that does bring us to the pairs of ones. Cup, you're getting the shit pushed in. Yep. <laughs> to you and Coda. Well, I'm going to inflict wounds. So you're going to touch him again? Fuck yeah. I was sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, no. On the ground. Sorry. Oh, all right. Cool. Uh, 19 plus 5, 24 to hit. Mm-hmm. 16, 19, and 24 damage on Necrotic. Uh, and I'll, I'll roll you... my con save. Yep. Uh, 17. Uh, you're safe. Coda, you're up. Okay, Force I'll try and hit him. Cheskin protects me. Uh, that is a 16 to hit. That hits. Okay. 15 to hit the big guy. Uh, that is 12 points of bludgeoning damage. All right, back in the game. <laughs> He's hurting. Uh, let's see. Odd Trendor, even Crow. Two, uh, Crow. Odd Cup, even Coda. Even Coda. Uh, so on Crow, uh, yeah. nine plus four is 13. I, no, I don't think that yet. hits Coda. Yeah. No, that's Coda? you. Oh. oh, that's Crow? Yeah. 13, no, 13 does not hit. All right, Coda. Uh, 14 plus 5, 19. That'll hit, yeah. I'll take Constitution. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to use my reaction uh, to do Wrath of the Storm. Okay. Uh, Six damage but- from the dagger, poison pending. Okay, uh, that's a 22 for the con save. No poison. Okay, and then he needs to make a uh, dex saving throw, DC 13. That one! Nice. Ah. So he takes 2d8 uh, lightning damage for hitting me. That's going to hurt. Three, that's eight points of lightning damage. That hurts. Uh, Wrath uh, of the Storm, fucker. <laughs> that brings us to Crendor. Roll. Six. She misses. Here's a one. She misses. All right. Cup, here we go. Round 12. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, let's see. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to hit him. It's a natural 20. Nice. So it's going to be 2d8. It's a 4. It's an 8, 12, 17 points of bludgeoning damage. That will be more than enough. That's right, you son of a biscuit eating bulldog. Uh, brother Cut. Uh, there's only one, and you'll have to push Crendor out of the way unless you want to use magic. Wait, wait, wait. Um, there's only one, but I did. Is Crow down? No, Crow's up. Okay, Crow's up. Um, no, I'm gonna. Um, <laughs> I might sit this round out. Uh, okay, okay. That's I will. Um, you can go I'll... check on the people if you want. Yeah, well, first of all, I'm going to bonus action healing word myself uh, for 12 points. I'm feeling somewhat better again. Uh, And then I will move to check on the people, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Top of the order, Crow. Okay. Uh, Who's... what's, What's still standing? The one that you and Crendor are sandwiching. Okay. Uh, and Brother Cop, if you want to shoot at him again. Yeah. Oh, That's quite enough, thank you. Okay. He just uh, got healed, so you probably won't kill him. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, what am I doing? Okay. Uh, 14 to hit is the disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. <coughs> Uh, that is um, uh, 10 points uh, piercing damage. Dead. Okay. Yeah, this is just a regular glung. 
Uh, Brother Cup, as you move over towards the people, they remove their hands from their ears. The <clears throat> annoying cheer is gone. Uh, they look at you skeptically. Uh, give me a charisma check. Wow. I'm super good at that. 15 plus 1 is 16. Uh, they are a bit standoffish, but one female approaches you and thanks you. Uh, she uses a common dialect. Some of the words won't sound right. Uh, she's from Alabama, but you'll be able to get the general gist of what she's saying. None of them words sound right to me. I don't know if she's saying it all. <laughs> she is lashed to another person uh, using crude hemp rope that you cannot smoke, not even if you're in Oregon, uh, but they are all lashed together. Um, I, I'll pull out my small knife and start cutting them loose from one another. D20, please. Yeah, I was going to say that. Natural 20. Untied. There you go. So uh, you managed to free the people, and they thank uh, Commander Quincy uh, for saving them, not you. And uh, they are freed again. Uh, the one female, uh, unkempt, topless, loincloth only, uh, doesn't appear to be giving a rat's ass. So this uh, is probably their apparel uh regularly uh no modesty issues or anything like that you guys are surrounded by these people who oh thank you like dr jones uh and the one female is going to talk to brother cup uh, since he is her savior well we freed you from these things um unfortunately your your friend was um Edu was slain um in the attempt to save you, but uh it's only about a day back to your village. Oh. Edu? Are you not from Edu's village? Oh. We're from there. That's and she points. She points towards the west. You guys oh. came from the south. That's the wrong direction. Okay, the west. He was a goddamn liar. <clears throat> well, maybe this just is a different set of people. I mean, there was a lot of tracks. Yeah, there were two groups. So they could have. They could have. I could have made some assumptions direction. based on you know poor hygiene, generally bad fashion sense, unkempt hair. I've, I've probably made some assumptions. You guys are from Birmingham, right? <laughs> yeah, we're from Birmingham. <laughs> I was looking for the Gulf Shores people. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, all right. Well, good luck. Have fun. We're off to go free another set of people, I guess. Are you going to Jekko? What the hell's a Jekko? That's the next settlement. Oh, oh shit. Wow. Yeah, that, 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 is, that is where they were leading us. Our village Perfect. has been decimated. Uh, can we come with you guys? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> you got to lead and taste all the potions. Basically. It's, this is, look at this. Look at this plethora of meat shields. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, they, so they know the way to this place we're going. Yeah. They, it, they, it, it, lead was, on, McDuff. Yeah, show us. By the way, have you ever heard of Cheskin? <laughs> I yeah, changed my much. mind. I want to go home. <laughs> uh, she uh, tells you that her name is America. <laughs> and she knows the way to Jekko, uh, but she cautions you and says, that's where the Grung were leading us. I don't know if Jekko is still a free town or not. Mm. Okay. And again, uh, broken common. Uh, you, you think you're getting the gist of it, but you aren't positive. Right. Uh, everybody perception check. Net 20. 20. 19. Uh, 19. Oh, 27. Crendor. Jesus. See through walls, bunch. <laughs> 15. 
Uh, even Crendor, uh, everybody kind of grimaces as they start to talk and you look up. Ha. Huh. That doesn't look good. <laughs> Lightning is kind of streaking across the sky. The clouds are dark. Uh, oh. You guys are going to be ground zero for probably a typhoon or some bullshit. Uh, Koda looks up pretty excited. He loves a good thunderstorm. Until he gets hit by lightning. It's uh, gonna, it'll be the second time. All right, Eddie Rabbit. <laughs> you love a rainy night. Huh? Yeah. Everybody, by thunder. Everybody's second perception check. Thirteen. Nine. Minus one. Twenty-one. Uh, uh, Seventeen plus seven, so yeah. Crow, Coda, and Cup, uh, you look ahead on the trail. You notice that there are amphibian tracks and people tracks. And it wasn't caused by these guys because the direction is the same. Got it. Ooh. Well, looks like we've got a small army with us. Yeah. Let's keep going. 11 people, but you got America with you. <laughs> Fuck yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, the sky is... find plenty of clubs along the way. Is she cute? <laughs> yeah. Uh, she has a charisma of... <laughs> Eight. <laughs> I thought it was a three for a second. Well, she has covered in mud. She may, yeah. she, so is Coda. She may clean up well. <laughs> yeah. uh, as, as you guys push forward, the skies just open up. Uh, lightning is racing across the sky. Everybody roll yes. a straight up D20. One, two, yes. four, three means I'm going to hit you. Ten. Four. Nine. So <laughs> close. So, so close. close. He Six. is a Tempest cleric. He's supposed to, he lives for the storm. Uh, Crow. Sixteen. Uh, yeah, so uh, one of the trees off the side of the trail takes a direct hit. Everybody's slightly deaf as uh, Crendor can vouch for since she was three feet away from the last tree that got hit by the lightning. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you're partially blinded by the light. Uh, as you move forward to the skies... Blinded by the light. The skies Sorry. are just pouring. Just pouring. Uh, any tracks are going to be wiped away. Uh, do you push forward or try and find cover with your 11 constituents, including America? America. Um, we gotta I look for cover. Yeah, take cover. <laughs> you found cover. You also found more grung. Everybody roll initiative. Hey. Uh, cover and grung. Ooh, 17. Ooh. Uh, That's better yeah. than one. Nine. 14. Everybody goes before me. I had an eight. You guys surprised a group of six grung and more humans, since I assume you're leading the pack and you didn't send America and her people in. Uh, you have your choice. There are six of them, however. Six grung? Yep. Let's send all the people in. All right. Let's pick a grung. Everybody pick uh, 17 is up first. Cup. Oh shit! Really? Um. So what's our ground like? We've got distance between us and them. Nope. Mm -hmm. You guys were going underneath the uh, oh. fronds to get away from them. You stepped into their uh, right. It's not even remotely dry. Right. Uh, it's like you pulled a curtain aside and bam! Hey, Scoob, they're here. <laughs> well. In that case, I've really only got one option, which is to smash them in the face with what I have in my hand. The Go get them, option. <laughs> That's a natural 20. There you go. Uh, I'll roll 2d6. Oh, producing 11 from those murder hobo dice plus my, what the hell is it? Two, 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, swank. Dead. Uh, 16. Crendor, you're up. Mm. Oh, crap. I 
four. Ah, swing and a miss. Uh, fourteen crow. Uh, that's it. Okay. Uh, crow's gonna make some short sword attacks. Uh, let's see. The first one is uh, uh, nineteen to hit. Yep. Okay. Second one just misses. It's a five. Okay. Uh, that would be seven points of piercing damage. Slashing, sorry. Yeah, a sword slashing, right? Sword, sword. <laughs> yes. Uh, nine, Coda. Coda goes to smash a grunt. It's a 22 to hit. Bludgeoning this son bitch for 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Still alive. The two extra are going after one cup, two coda. All right. Tesco will protect us. Or she'll let us die. Uh, Either cup. way. Matt, one, you will have advantage on yours. Uh, coda, you have two on you. Uh, nat 20 and a 13, so 17. Both hit. Uh, two con saves. Okay. Uh, that's a, a 21 on one con save. And then a 16 on the other con save. Nine slashing damage. Okay. Uh, and then friend I'm or. I'll use my reaction to um, uh, do uh, Wrath of Storms on one of them to take. Huh? They need a DC 13 deck save. Uh, nine plus two, 11, so no. Nope. Uh, so they take 14 points of lightning damage. Yeah, that one's dead. <laughs> hey! Uh, Krendor. Eight plus four, 12 doesn't get you, I assume. Nope. And crow. 11 plus four, 15. That's enough. Okay, top of the order. Uh, 17. Mad. Uh, yeah, same thing, but I've got advantage against him. Oh, it's a good thing I got that advantage. Uh, <laughs> 19 is it going to be a hit? And that's uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage. Fair enough. Uh, 16. Krendor. Two. Oh, so close. Uh, 14. Crow. Oh, okay. Um. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, the first uh, the offhand misses. Uh, the let's see. Uh, twenty-one to hit, mm -hmm. and uh, that'll be nine points slashing damage. Uh, that is enough to finish him off. Uh, their turn. A cup. Uh, 16 plus 4. Dirty you got 20. me. Coda, you still have, you have 1. Mm -hmm. 8 plus 4 is 12. Miss. Uh, Frender. Matt, 1. Again, you will have advantage on yours. Ha uh, ha. Crow, you don't have anybody. Oh. Um, so who'd I hit? Just cup? Yep. Yeah. Uh, give me your con save. Uh, 17 plus 3, or plus 2, 19. Three, three hit points of damage, slashing. Ouch. Everybody roll perception at disadvantage. Uh, at disadvantage, I have a 16. Uh, disadvantage, it would be 10 Five. for Crow. 7. Uh, Brother Cup, you are the only one to notice that uh, you guys are at 
town and there's a full-blown fucking attack on this town and you guys have stumbled into the back lines. Yeah. Yeah. Coda, Crendor, and Crow do not know this. So, top of the order, Cup. Yep. I've still got this mace. Uh, 17 to hit. Uh, That is eight more points of bludgeoning damage. To who? The Grung. Oh, that's right. Yours is there. Uh, It is dead. Uh, See, it just hit me. It's got to be standing there. (laughs) Yeah, I thought it was dead. My bad. Uh, Krendor, you're up. Splat. At advantage to hit this thing since it's proned out. Seven. Uh, Fourteen crow. Okay. No, you cleaved the other one right in half on your first attack. Uh, bu- 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 let's see. The... Yeah. Fourteen. Uh, Yes. One. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Twelve points slashing damage. Who? And there are Gronk standing still. Uh, there's Crendor uh, and uh, Codas. Uh, I think Crendor is closer to me. I think. You guys are all in a line. So oh, we're all in a line. Codas uh, on your left. Crendor's on your right. Out or even? <laughs> sure. Uh, ah, Coda. So. Fair enough. Coda, you're up. Uh, it's still alive. Yep. All right. I it will hit four it. hit points. I will hit it. That is a 20 minus one, 19 to hit. Yep. And nine points of bludgeoning damage. Dead. Super. Uh, Crendor. 15 plus 4, it gets you. Give me con save. Take 5 hit points slashing. Seriously. Mm-hmm. What'd you roll? 4. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what you're going to do. We'll use a uh, adventure until I die. 3. You know you're going to be yelling for the rest of the night. Because <laughs> you're partially deaf. You're Gilbert Godfrey. Uh, Coda, Crendor, Crow, perception check, normal. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, 10. 19. Crendor? Uh, Crow, still don't notice. Uh, Coda, you notice. Holy shit, there's a fight here. Crendor, there's a huge fight here. Uh, (laughs) Top of the order, Brother Cup. There's only one Grung left in your group. As I stated earlier, you got a big fight on your hands. Make it do a DC 13 deck save. 14 on the die, plus two. Then nothing happens. And all you. A little dance makes a little love. Yeah. Get down down tonight. tonight. Crow, you're up. (laughs) Okay. All right. All right. Uh, Let's see. That would be uh, uh, 23 to hit. (laughs) And the second, uh, the Autan is a 14 to hit. Both hit. Okay. Uh, let's see. More dice. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, 12 uh, points of damage with the main hand and uh, 7 points of damage with the off hand. Dead. Uh, everybody perception check. Well, actually, nobody perception check except Crow. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Okay, uh, 18 plus 7. Um, yeah, 18 plus 7. So. Tide of the battle has turned here at town, and everybody uh, has stopped attacking the walls and are in full retreat. Headed towards you is... You've never seen one of these before. It is a large humanoid-esque creature with a dog head wielding a menacing spear. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, geez. Jesus. <sighs> 30, 20. 19. Oh. Uh, yeah, 17. 13. 6. As the dog uh, creature's coming up, can I cast Cure Wounds on myself before it gets up there, or do I need to wait till my turn? Your turn. Okay. Because it's closing. And it is going okay. after four. Crow. Oh, okay. 13 plus four. 17? Uh, 17 hits, but I'm going to use my reaction to skirmish, and I'm going to move, as a reaction, move half my movement. That's that's the thing. As a reaction, you move half your movement speed when it closes in on you within five feet. Was it in within five feet? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that to roll out of the way or something. So. So you aren't gonna get hit. Uh. Uh. Unless he's got like a 15 foot uh, reach. So. Yes. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's using a bardish. Uh, so, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is cutting a swath. Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. Five plus two, seven damage is uh, a yeah. whoosh cuts through the crowd. Uh, that brings us to the 19. Crendor. Mm-hmm. Yes, this thing's about eight foot tall. Holy crap, yeah, it had reach. <laughs> 12 does not hit it. It uh, rings off a shield that it is carrying. Uh, wow, 17. this thing. Wow, okay. It has armor and a shield, and you've never Ooh. seen something like this before. Oh, well, I've got his leather. Giant. Bro, you're up. All right. Uh, yeah. Kill it, bro. <laughs> comes to kill the rest of us. Uh, okay. Well, it's wearing armor, so this is it's gonna, this is really gonna suck. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fifteen to hit. So I know that does not hit. Fifteen or, does uh, hit. Oh, okay. All right. You, you hit Anubis. <laughs> Anubis. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, Rick. <laughs> uh, twelve. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, 13, Coda. I'm going to kiss Cure Runes on myself. Okay. Nice. So when you think about me, you touch yourself. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't want anybody else. Other Cup, you're up. Uh, I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt. Uh, 19 will hit. Uh, that's one, two murder hobos, one adventure in Philbar. That's 18 plus two is 20 plus five, 25 points of force damage. No, it's radiant damage. Sorry. And what the fuck uh, are you the casting? Deck- <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Riding bolts. Just- <laughs> okay. And, uh, uh, and, and the next attack against him before the end of my next turn has advantage. Uh, there will be no next attack. He goes down. Pile of shit. The sky's clear as the rain stops. Now that you get a better sense of looking around, Grung have fled in every direction. To your left, there are a bunch of people that look just like Edu, uh, quivering uh, in fear as they watch this uh, Anubis-looking motherfucker come out of nowhere. They watched you guys uh, fight the Grung. Uh, It's amazing. Cheers of huzzah can be heard. And as you look, as the sky is clear, there is a stockade fence. Arrows litter the battlefield. There are dead grung everywhere and several smaller uh, dog-like creatures. Dog-like creatures. We, we've never seen this, so we wouldn't know what they are. Not a clue. Okay. All right. 
So, uh, yeah, I guess we... Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody! <laughs> uh, I've got something rattling in my brain here. Did it look like, based on the battle, that the Grung were fighting the dog creatures? No. The Grung and the dog creatures were together? Correct. All right, just making um, sure. Okay. I'm going to look at the dog creature and kind of take my mace and be like, ting, ting, ting. What <laughs> the hell is this? <laughs> ting. It's shiny. I, like, I feel like I've got a kinship to it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> I think I can work with this. I did like some smithing back home. So. Yeah, I can make steel drums. There we go. No, I'm thinking if I use this and make it smaller... I can make it fit me, and I'm going to have something nicer. Oh, that's true. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey, uh, everybody roll perception check. All right. Yeah. Uh, seven, no, 12. Uh, 20. And 26 for Crow. 17. Everybody hears a loud creak, and the stockade fence splits open uh, as massive doors uh, appear. A large armed contingent of individuals exit. Hut, 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 hut. They are in a phallic situation uh, with archers guarding the front, archers up on the wall, and one taller female with uh, colorful grayish hair uh, in the middle. Uh, she has a helmet with a large plume underneath her arm and she is surveying the battlefield when she sees you guys she throws the helmet back on draws her sword uh, the entire group forms up and yeah point arrows at you Hello. oh <laughs> put my mace back on the clip and be like good day uh, <laughs> this is um coda this is cup Let's I'm a crow. Up. He's a crow. Uh, we we like killed Grung and uh, we killed the dog thing, the big eight foot dog thing. I mean, you probably fucked it up earlier, but we like finished it as it tried to run away. Uh, so please don't kill us. It'd be nice. Dark arrows, and it, the entire front line kind of does it. You hear a voice behind you as Brother Cup is pushed out of the way from. America, and she charges forward, waving her hands. No, 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 we're okay. Uh, the front uh, lines move forward, and the tall, stately, gray-haired lady, probably named Gertrude, but that's not her name, uh, steps <laughs> forward, eyeballs it, and says, I know you, don't I? Uh, words are exchanged. Uh, you cannot hear because she has charged the line. Uh, the bowmen retract their arrows and stand up. Apparently, America has put in a good word for you because it's all about freedom. That's right. Uh, I guess we right. don't die today. Yes, die. Right. <laughs> well, the, maybe tomorrow. Maybe the, tomorrow. <laughs> you like it? Do you guys is my cousin Edu here? <laughs> oh, uh, kidding. No. Uh, you, Did he search see. for teeth? <laughs> he did not. Uh, the tall, slender woman uh, approaches and introduces herself as Niska Poot. Niska Poot. Excuse me. Uh, she pooted. Uh, That's hmm. concerning. Crendor? Yes? Any, any I, N Niska Poot? She will ask that you sheathe your weapons uh, and surrender them if you are going inside the walls of, jo of Jekko. Uh, they will be returned to you once she has confirmed that you are friend and not foe. Oh, all right. And all what right, if we're sure. not? What if you this think we're my... not? What's going to happen then? We'll kill you. Oh, oh, we're we're friendly and compliant. Awesome. I was I'm already like handing over my mace. Yeah, we're on both. This is my wall hammer, El Cabal. Gentle with oh. it. Right, putting everything in the bag. Here you go. 
Oh, here you go. Oh, yeah, right here. Come on, Pastor. Wow. Uh, he's my other digger. He's my Hendrix. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, just this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well. This is a nice shiny rock that I've had for a while that I hit people with sometimes. So let you take that. <laughs> Uh, Niska allows you to enter the fence inside the fence. Uh, it's a lot like home, only cleaner. Uh, Who's home? It, Crandor's or our shithole? Funny you should mention that. Uh, Niska has bangs, but you can tell that she has the crenellations along her forehead. She is from the same race as Crendor. Uh, inside, it looks like a city planner has been at work. Or am I a girlfriend after all? Everything is lined up. Uh, there's strange black road in here. You aren't really sure what that's all about. Uh, the rest of this is rather involved, and we will take that up next time. Uh, David, what'd you think? Uh, it was pretty cool, yeah. A crow didn't die. He still has hit points, so he was he's good. Not for lack of trying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, didn't Carrie, die, not for lack of trying. Carrie, what'd you think? It was good. I'm intrigued. Okay, that works. Which, yeah. you know, since Ooh. we love each other and you haven't told me anything. That's true. Uh, the producer does not know how this thing plays out. <laughs> uh, and it's about to take a major shift. Uh, Jesse, what'd you think? It's great. I'm, uh, I'm kind of excited for uh, Coda to actually be able to possibly forge something. He's uh -huh. like, ooh, metal. <laughs> like, shiny stuff. Not the shitty iron-ish stuff we have at home. That yeah. I'm like, we don't have enough of this. I want some I want he's I'm I'm excited for what Coda's gonna fuck up in this town. <laughs> well, Jekko is a major trading point, as Merica has pointed out. So you mm. guys might find some very interesting things in here. Uh last but not least, Rob, what'd you think? Oh, I had a lot of fun. Thank you very much. It was a lot of fun. I forgot the English butler was here. <laughs> nice. We got the Australian That's Mr. Belvedere, do you? Oh. Mr. Belvedere. <laughs> Who the hell's Belvedere? <laughs> <laughs>